Rivers fans said we had an excuse. Quiz Rogers couldn't play. Two years ago, Ducks fans said, wait a minute. Our excuse was Dennis Dixon was hurt. Tonight, no excuses. All the playmakers on both sides are healthy and ready to go. Oregon won the toss, and they want the football. So Cliff Harris, Kenyon Barner back deep to receive the kickoff of Kehu. It's a short one. And this is Barner. Good coverage as he barely makes the 20-yard line. So here come so Michael James set behind Masoli. A little motion to the left side now. Masoli throwing near side. It's complete. DJ Davis fighting across the 20-yard line. So the junior with his 21st. Masoli fires right side. Intercepted. Deflects off a receiver's hands, and this is James Dockery. The junior with his second pick. With Quiz Rogers in the backfield. James Rogers in motion, and it's a fly sweep to open the offensive series in an eight-yard game for the older of the runs on third and two. Field. Quick fire. And it's James Rogers first and goal. So tough to stop Rogers. Third and goal. And field looking left. Fires for the end zone. Caught, but muscled out short of the pylon. The Mola Adenogy is their big target position. Squiz in the eye formation. Quiz Rogers, touchdown. So the takeaway by the Beavers defense, the offense cashes it in, and Mike Riley, a little mini gamble to start this game, and it pays off. Justin Cahoot makes it 7 zip. So Masoli's interception cashed in regulation, a part of Ducks lore. Masoli takes off. Oh, just got tripped up. Knocked down to the 35-yard line. Had a potential big gainer there who's got some thick legs with one arm. That's how strong Stephen Pye is. Barner keeps it. And on the end around, he's into Beaver territory. The backup tailback to the Michael James shows his speed. Backfield now. It's James to the far right of the formation for Masoli. Who looks that direction and fires a completion across the middle. And that is Jeff Mayo, the junior tough receiver. Takes all kinds of big shots. You see this offense marching. And marching quickly. Masoli keeps it. Has a crease. And inside the 25. You see why Masoli averages five and a half yards a carry this season. Over 1,300 yards on the ground in his career. That's tough. Lit him up. James out of the far left of the formation as Masoli rows the other way and finds man over the middle. This is Ed Dixon, the tight end, down to the five. So Masoli using high on third and goal. James lowers the head and drives to the end zone. Two starters for the Ducks from this state for the extra point. And a good hold by Nate Costa, who had to make a clutch hold in that. Nice, thanks. Second possession now for the Beavers in Canfield. Back to throw on first down. Loops it near midfield. Nice catch, Marcus Wheaton, the true freshman. Only six catches coming in, but showing the speed. James Rogers on the fly sweep again. Gets a block on the edge. And dances out. It's a nice eight-yard gain. Will darkens the full experience it. You never know how an offensive line is going to handle it. Manfield throwing on second and short. Has time and fires far side for James Rogers out inside the 30. That's another beautiful throw. 
A lot of anticipation on the blitz right now. The offensive line doing a really good job. Ducks rush only three. Canfield in the flat to Quiz Rogers. Makes one man miss, but can't get the first down. The first man with over 40 yards. Sneaks it through. <laughs> so Oregon State, good looking fifth round that has fun with life. Shows up for the picture with Bedhead on third and nine. Masoli takes a shot downfield, loops it complete, and Nail in a foot race delivers. This is fun. <laughs> As advertised. Morgan Flint makes it 14-10. That one took just a minute now. Canfield and the Beavers at their 35. And this is Quiz. They faked it to James. Page to Jack Quiz Rogers. And finally, Quiz has some running room into Oregon territory the before Boyan drove him out. Draw play, quiz. A little crease, and a flag comes in late. Rogers stopped the four yard game. Just when you were saying they were avoiding penalties, this one looks like the, the major variety. The legal block below the waist. Illegal track back box by number eight on the offense. 15 yard penalty, main second down. Canfield dumps it off to Quiz. Makes a man miss. Quiz Rogers, off and running. <laughs> Boy, is he slippery and strong. Third and six. Field. Rolls to his left, fired short, broken up. Cliff Harris is a true freshman corner. Reached an arm in from 28. Knocks it through. So midway second quarter, Oregon State has to. Rogers on the fly sweep. Finds a little crease and motors down to the 10. Eight-yard gain, James Lewis on the stop. But again, a defense. Does he want this one badly tonight? Quiz hitting the backfield. Hugo Alonzo, who's a backup middle linebacker, a couple of big plays in this series. Kehu trying to make it three for three. This from 29 yards. And the Beavers regain the lead here. Hard so far for... Oregon's offense, but those two costly turnovers. This is James back in the game. Masoli keeps it. Jeremiah Masoli weaving through the secondary. Right. Heard, heard Arizona with last week. Heard a lot of teams with it. Masoli keeps it again. This time around the edge. Can't get away. Just about a four-yard gain is stepping up was Lance Mitchell. Their zone out. We said, what guy worries you on defense? He said, number 54. Now he's the best kind of physical specimen on this defense. James to the right of the formation on third down. Masoli rolls that way, flips it short, and the catch made underneath and inside the 30 for a first down. Two and a half. His second catch tonight. And, and, and you know, at the beginning of this, easy for him to see over those offensive linemen. That's why oftentimes he's got to roll out. Keeps it, fires far side. Two and a again. 
Picks up nine more. Chip Kelly finding some mismatches in. Solik pressured again. Extends, gets away, and dumps it off. Catch made by David Paulson, and he muscles down inside the five. Just his 12th catch of the season. And second and goal. This is James. Knife into the end zone. James with his 12th and 13th rushing touchdowns of the season tonight. A minute to go before halftime. The only one of seven in the third down tonight. Manfield over the middle. Looks for James Rogers. So frustrated trying to cover this guy. Just able to move the chains again and again. That was a 10 yard gain right at his average. Six catches for 60 yards. On the first down, Canfield again throws underneath there. They don't use the tight ends too often, but Joe Halahuni has become a little bit of a weapon as Riley will spend a time out here. 29 seconds before half. And first and 15. Canfield feels the pressure, steps up. Throws it away at the last minute and gets it free to his tight end. <laughs> you see the strength of the quarterback there. Got it free. Brady Camp makes his first catch for 10 yards. 20 seconds and a half. Pressure again. Canfield delivers a strike over the middle and a touchdown, James Rogers. Defense gambles and they beat the true freshman corner. Beaver's offense normally very balanced, but Quiz Rogers' runs have been shut down. Don't drop the ball. Very simple. <laughs> the first have to stop Canfield, who's been hot, and he delivers again. This is Rogers again. John Boyette knocked him down, but a 10 yard gain. And, and I tell you something else that's going to have to be mindful of in this football game. Sean Canfield, 16 of 21. Into this game is the favorite, the home team. They need 13 on third down. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up, and Canfield delivers a battle for the ball. It's won by the receiver, Adenija. The Mola Adenija beating Jackson in another. Sure again, Canfield flips it off, almost intercepted, and now a flag comes in. Casey Matthews had the ball in his hand, but they hit the quarterback late. Personal foul, roughing the pass in number 35 in the defense. 15-yard penalty. Costly 15 on Pacinger. This is James Rogers on the fly sweep, down inside the 10. I'll tell you what, two very impressive drives. One at the end of the first. Third and six. Infield over the middle, touchdown. AC Chose with his first touchdown of the season. And the Beavers extend the lead. So precise on third down in that drive, Canfield. Sean Canfield is feeling a face that Canfield fit that ball into. Okay, Hoot. Hoots it through. And the Beavers build on the lead. Taking his. He's just country strong, as they say. This is James in motion now. Different look. A little fly sweep for the Ducks, and a flag is down as James carries across the 45 for a first down. Guys at the NFL last year. These guys have come a long way. They sure have. This is James again. Turns the corner. And Michael James, a quick burst inside the Beavers 40. Tim Clark stopped him. It's third and six as Michael James returns to the game, and he's to the far right of the formation. Beavers showing blitz. Three on the play clock. Masoli under pressure. Throws it downfield for Mayo, and he's. Broken up at the five-yard line. Single coverage against the safety, Lance Mitchell. End of regulation.
transition. Masoli fires right side. Caught by Mayo. Just enough for a first down. In front of Docker, you see the clutch hands of Mayo taking the blow, but holding onto the football. This is Blunt. Right there at Blunt is loose. Touchdown. Standing by and saying that's not indicative of the Garrett Blunt that we know. The noise is back at Hudson. We'll quiet him down a little bit. Another clutch completion to James. Licks. They dump it off short. And Chris Rogers moves the chain. So they're trying everything, and Canfield has. The answer for it. That time they did bring pressure. Empty backfield. Ducks rush just three. Bring pressure late. Broke it out. Jackson got his hand on the pass. So Justin Cahill, junior from Portland, three for three in the first half. This from 45. And he drives it right through. What a clutch performance tonight from two running backs in the game, James and Barner. Masoli keeps it. Lobson look pitch to Barner on the edge. And that's a wrinkle we haven't seen so far tonight. 12 yards. Has had to fix tonight. What? This is a, a physical game, the Civil War, if you will. And Michael James takes off down the sideline. Headed for the end zone. and they'll go for two up by a point. James and Barner in the game. This is Barner in motion in front of Masoli. And now a wishbone look. Option. James knocked down short of the goal line. So that was a good play by Lance Mitchell. The safety disrupt it. Here comes the noise again. Canfield a first down throw. Sack for the first time. Kenny Rowe. it again. I'll tell you what, ever since Blunt got back in there, ran for a touchdown on Michael James. Yeah. Now there's lightning, now Thunder comes back in. Blunt and was straight ahead, moves the pile a few yards. It's interesting what you said about the offensive line. You know, Oregon lost three offensive linemen this year to the National. David Potalui is in the, lot, in the locker room right now with cramps as Masoli fires far side and Mail makes a man miss and skips down the sidelines. So Blunt goes out, Kenyon Barner back in, and they stack four receivers to the left on third and seven. Masoli keeps it, a design run, but the Beavers' defense is ready for it. He still spins away. Masoli staying alive, and he'll finally take a hit for a loss. Shows the surgery. He's a junior in high school. Almost quit the football team to play baseball here at Oregon. They revived the baseball program. I think he made the right decision. He's a very reliable kicker. Knocks it through from 34. And the Ducks extend. But Canfield and the company. Canfield hands to his younger brother, Quiz Rogers, and he's corralled. So Ducks only rush three. Canfield dumps it off short. And the immediate hit that time on Quiz Rogers by Pacinger. Sixteen to play. They've been a very good fourth down team this season. Score to the fourth and one play, but they need 15 yards here. Infield steps up, delivers a strike far side, but it's incomplete. 
He's got it this time. And Eric Watt into the secondary. And this is the defining play of this game so far. Solely to throw it. Takes off. Delivers a shot and makes the first down. Lance Mitchell came up to meet the quarterback. Masoli won the battle. 220 plus pounds of up the shoulder and get the first down. Michael James spins out of a tackle and breaks free. Well, Michael James diving near the first. Now James joins him. Quarterback keeper. Pitch. Barner on the corner. First down. And once again, Masoli was so clutch, doing it in different ways. The clutch fourth down pass earlier in the game. The bulldozing run on fourth and two. And the 15-year Rose Bowl drought is over. As Kelly gets dunked, what a rookie season.